Hello everyone, it's Amy and welcome back for another journaling on a budget video. Today we are going to make Lizzie Brewer envelopes. I saw Elizabeth Brewer make these envelopes a long time ago and I've been making them ever since. They're like an origami envelope. They are so simple and once you've made enough of them, it will just be stuck in your head. Um, while I was away a while back, um, I took some paper with me and um, I thought, ooh, can I remember? And I tried to make one and I did remember it. So um, make a few and it'll get stuck in your head and they're so simple to make. They're not large envelopes, they're small little embellishment envelopes. Um, you can put little things in them. The larger your paper, the larger your envelope will be. So um, what, we, what you need is a square of paper. It does not matter what size. So I have a piece here of legal size copy paper and I am just going to fold it into a triangle, line up the line, line up the corner really well. And I'm just gonna fold that up. So now all sides will be equal. Now this will make a square for me. And then I'm just going to, better put my glasses on so I can see where I'm cutting. I'm just gonna cut it off right next to where I just folded that to make a square. And you can do this with music paper, you can do it with book pages, you can do it with absolutely any paper that you have. You want a really big one? Um, use a nice heavy wrapping paper. Um, and you know, heavy I'm saying, but you know, just you don't want something super flimsy like tissue paper. This is just copy paper and it will work just fine. Um, okay, so now you have a square of paper, which is gonna be eight and a half by eight and a half because eight and a half is how wide this was when I folded it over to make my square. If you're starting with just a square, let's say a six by six square out of a paper pad, you just fold it in corner to corner so that you have a triangle. Then what you're gonna do is you are going to fold it. You're gonna line up the points just like that really well. And then you're gonna come over here and you are going to put a crease right where your center point is. Okay, you're not gonna fold this up, you're just gonna put a crease right here at the bottom, right where your center point is. And because you can't see it, I can, I don't normally mark this, but I'm gonna mark it just to show you where that fold is. So that fold is right there. Well, I'm gonna mark this for you with a pen that doesn't work. There we go. Okay, and on the inside, that fold is right there. Okay, so once you have folded it and made your crease there, you're going to open it up and you're going to fold the top point down to that crease and right down to the fold line of your other piece of paper. So you're just going to line that up and fold that down. That's just going to put it on the inside. So that will be the inside of your envelope. So that'll give you a nice fold across the top. You can cut that off if you want to. I like to fold it in because that way that gives me a nice edge there and makes it more solid. Now my fold is right here. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take one side and we're going to fold it about in half an inch or so past that line. There's our line. Here is the tip of my paper here. So I'm going to go out about a half an inch, line it up with the bottom, line it all up nice and straight. And then just fold it. Okay, so now we have folded this side. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this point. I'm just going to take my whole piece of paper. This is how I do it. And I'm just going to fold it right there again. That folds my point back, okay? And then I'm gonna take the other side and I'm going to line it up. Make sure that this little point is lined up at the bottom when you fold it over. I'm gonna take this point. Here is my little fold right here. I'm gonna press that down. I'm gonna line this right up with the tip of that one. Let me put a little, this is my, this is my little folded over piece right here. Okay, right there's my point, just like that. 
Okay, so there it is. And I'm going to take this one and I'm going to line that right up with that, right up to the point. Just line those up nicely and then fold this one. See your envelope coming together? Okay. All right. And then what we're going to do is we are going to fold the top down and we are going to fold it down to this fold line. So there's going to be a little bit of your corners here that are going to fold down. And we're just going to trim those off. I'm just going to fold this down. On both sides. Just like that. And then open it back up and then the easiest way for me to get rid of these little corners because my scissors don't have a little tiny snip on the end they're rounded ends so I'm gonna open this up and when I open it up we've got this little corner right here and that needs to come off and I just have to get my scissors up there far enough so that I can cut it If you have the little snippy scissors, you don't have to open it up. You can just go in there and snip it. Open this side up and get rid of the little corner on this side. Just like that. There we go. And so now it looks like that on each side. That way when you fold this down, it just doesn't have that little extra bit there. Alrighty, and then what you're going to do, and of course, I forgot my glue, so I'll be right back. It won't take me very long, it's just right here. <laughs> Excuse me. And I just use stick glue, but you can use wet glue if you want to. And what you're going to do is you are going to take the one that it does not have the folded corner, and you are just going to run a bead of glue or a little bit of your stick glue right along the bottom edge of that line it up nice with the bottom and just fold that in so it stays there then you're going to take this one this is the hardest part out of the whole thing you're going to open up this little point and then you're going to actually open it up so see it looks kind of like a little cup and you're going to push this point right down to this point just like this just line it up as you're going and when you get down there you're just going to give it a press so now you have this little diamond right here now you're going to go in on the back side of this and you're going to put glue along the bottom line it up nicely at the bottom and press it down just like that and then what you're going to want to do you've got this little opening here that opens up you want to keep that but you don't want this all floppy on both sides so what I do is I just fold this side up put a little bit of glue on there come over to this side fold it up put a little bit of glue on there push it down and now you've still got your little opening in the top of your diamond right here. And now you take your envelope, or your, your lid of your envelope, top or whatever, and that fits right into that little diamond. Whoops. And that's what holds it shut. Isn't that just the cutest thing ever? And then, because I don't glue these sides together, you can if you want to, um, you know, when you have it open, but I don't glue them together because that way, let me just get a piece of paper here. When you don't glue those together, you have a pocket here and a pocket over here, and these are in the front, and then behind that, you have another pocket here so you can put like a long tag in there, a square tag on each side here, and then you also have your back regular envelope back here. 
So you have one, two, three, four pockets in this envelope and it's a self-closing envelope. So there we go. And this is the size that it makes with an eight and a half by eight and a half piece of paper. Now I'll do another one really quick just so that you can see one more time. I'm gonna put the spots on the outside. So I'm just going to fold it corner to corner. And the, the biggest thing is you wanna get this fold especially as close as you can. You want it to not be off. And then we're just gonna fold these two bottom corners together, line them up nicely, and then come in and pinch the center so that we have a nice crease right there to work with. Pretty much everything works around this crease. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna fold this flap right down to that crease and to center it on the crease all the way down to that bottom fold and fold that across. Now, if you want to, because we don't do anything with this, this is just that little lip, that you can glue down, but you don't have to. So, and then we have it looking like this. And here is my crease right there. So then I'm going to take this one and I'm gonna fold it about a half an inch further than that. And then I'm just gonna find that crease and I'm just gonna give it another fold to fold this over. You can just mark it too or just look for it. For me, it's just easier to just fold that crease again. Just gives me my fold right where I need it. Now we have this little part here that we just folded over. I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna line it up with that point so they're both the same. And this one is cardstock, so it's a little bit harder to fold. I'll go like that. And I'm going to take my lid, just kind of holding down right along the edge of where I want to fold it so that those little bits fold over and don't get in my way. And then I'm going to open it up a little bit and cut those teeny little bits off. And I find that I must not be a perfectionist because they never wind up exactly the same size. But I don't think anybody's gonna notice if your little triangles are not exactly the same size. So then we're gonna just fold this back up again, put, put glue on this one, cross the bottom, line it up, Press it down. I'm going to put glue on this one. Line it up. Press it down. I'm going to take this little one and I'm going to kind of push it so that it opens up. And then I'm going to take this point right up to the point above it. Just line those up nicely. Put a little bit of glue, fold this over, put a little glue right there. Fold the side up, and put a little glue under it right there. Because this is really heavy card stock, my glue is not working real well because um, it's just cheap dollar store glue and it's getting dried out. I'm just going to take this, tuck it right into there. And there we go. Now we have a nice little six by six paper made this size and eight and a half by eight and a half made this size. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I think that they are wonderful. Thank you so much, Lizzie, for showing us how to do that. Um, I don't know where her video is. It was a long time ago, so I'm probably not going to be able to go and find it. But if you haven't seen Elizabeth Brewer, she is just um, a real joy to watch. So go check out her channel. It's Lizzie Brewer on YouTube. But thank you very much for watching. I really love these envelopes, and they are just so easy to make. And the fact that you have all of these little pockets here to use 
just makes it even, you know, an extra bonus. So thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.